All right, welcome to my cause skeleton gameplay and review video. So a lot of people left me comments on my item shop review and said they wanted to see me review this. So let's go ahead and do it. As you can see, it's 1200 and there are no accessories for it. There's no pickaxe, there's no glider, there's no wrap, there's not even a real back bling. However, it is in its own set, the cause set. So maybe in the future we'll get some of these things, we'll have to wait and see. Now one thing I wanted to point out, I mentioned in my item shop that it looked like a elephant to me. And a lot of people blasted me for it. You guys can't see that it looks like an elephant? So everyone told me that it's supposed to be a skull and crossbones. Look at that. If it had a ginormous snout on it, a trunk, it would 100% be an elephant. Look at those, what are supposed to be the crossbones. Those look like a ginormous elephant ear on both sides. And the skull looks like an elephant as well. I'm telling you, if you put a trunk on there, maybe I'll draw myself a trunk from this perspective. And you could see that, to me at least, it looked like an elephant. But now I see it's supposed to be a skull and crossbones. I just, I don't know why. It reminded me of an elephant. So the good news about this skin is that you get four different styles. And they're so unique. The color schemes matched with that cell shaded black outline. It just looks very, very good. Now, the only complaint I have is that this orange is a horrendous orange, and it doesn't match probably 99% of the orange items in the game. It's almost like an off shade of orange, whereas the green is perfect. Same thing for the pink. Look how vibrant those are, and then we got this dull, weird orange color. What is with the orange in Fortnite? Every time we have a selectable style with orange, it's some weird color scheme that you can't match to save your life. Why? And then the default one is just the normal skeleton color. So just this morning, I got a tweet from one of my followers. Her name is Fern Leaves. And she said, Cause Skeleton does have a back bling. Inky just sleeping. And then she provided me with these images. And look at that. That matches amazingly. It's almost like they literally built this back bling for this skin. But obviously it's meant for the tuna fish in the battle pass. How cool though. Thank you so much Fern Leaves for showing me this. I'm going to try some of these out. So let me show you gameplay of all of these different skins. I'm gonna start with the pink one because I think I can make a clean combo with this. So as Fern said, you gotta use the inky back bling plus the just sleeping style. Well, I guess you could do the default as well if you wanna see him roam around, but it's kinda better matching if he's dead because you're a skeleton, if that makes sense. So you can see that the cuddly pink is precisely what you want. And the fact that the water is black as well is just icing on the cake. How amazing is that? Now for a pickaxe, we got something very similar to this. I think it's called Skelly something. Let's just take a look. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Yes, the Skelly fish. Let's go. Look at that. That should be a perfect match in the color scheme. So unfortunately, the Skelly fish glider would probably match the first style, but you can't customize it with colors. How amazing would that be if you could put that same pink color or any color on this glider. So going through my locker here, I don't really have that many pinkish gliders. And the ones that I do have are a different off shade of pink. Now the one that does match is the goo glider. That's kind of the same color scheme. Man, this one's so loud. Let's just go ahead and use it. We'll do that. I gotta get that off my screen. It's way too loud. So here's the cat and mouse one. This one doesn't really match as well as I thought it would. Plus there's blue in there, we don't want that. Now I did see this wild stripes one. This does have the right pink color and it's got black on it. I don't know about the white though. We can check it out. I do have a lot of pinks. It's just, it's not pink and black like this. I think that does match. Let's check it out. So there's my combo for now. Let's go take a look at what this skin looks like in game. All right, so here we go. Let's check out the whale sailor. Again, it's very loud, I apologize. Uh, I mean, it's close. It's a close color resemblance there. Probably the best glider you're going to get because it does have that black ink and it is kind of cell shaded. It's just obnoxiously loud, I think. And look, the black ink comes out of the bowl too. I didn't realize that. So that's a nice combo for sure. I think the fish matches tremendously. Let's land here and take a closer inspection. Oh, that pickaxe is pretty much perfect as well. Maybe a little bit darker than the skin. 
So it's just a unique skin all around. That cell shaded effect stands out so much, but it's not as bad with this backplane. I imagine a normal backplane on this character would look kind of odd to say the least. Okay, so it looks like in the dark or the shade, the character turns almost a purplish color. And then he matches the pickaxe better, but the back bling then becomes a brighter pink. So that's only in the shade. I imagine it looks like that at nighttime as well. But if we stand out in the light, then we become more closely resembling the back bling. So like I said, I imagine when it gets pitch black out, we're gonna look almost a purplish color, which kind of stinks. How about the wrap? Hmm, it's not too bad. Well, he's got some big old paws for hands. Look at those meat hooks. Takes up 90% of the gun. <laughs> yeah, the wrap might be a little brighter pink than I thought. Although, I don't know. Yeah, you definitely get some purplish vibes from this skin, depending on the lighting. Let's just do a quick reactive test. I doubt he's gonna do anything, but you never know. No, nope. I think he looks much better in the light. I don't think I've ever said that about any skin ever in Fortnite. But in the light, he makes this combo look pretty clean. All right, so here's the orange style. Let's go into the inky back bling again. So this is ruby red, obviously it doesn't match. This is renegade red, which looks a little darker than the actual orange we've got here. But maybe in the night, it'll look like that. We'll have to see. And then we've got pumpkin orange. She kind of matches it as well. And then Midas Gold looks a little too yellow. So I guess Pumpkin Orange might be what we want. So I see the Harmonic Axes have a nice bright orange like that. It could resemble it. I really can't tell based on the lock. No, we're going to try it though. I think it does kind of match. It's very hard to tell, like I said. And then for Umbrella, I'm just going to use my custom one, which obviously won't match at all. But it is orange. It's just way, way deep dark orange, the way I like it. Now, as for a wrap, I do have quite a lot of orange wraps. It's just, again, the orange is too dark compared to what the skin looks like. This one might match. Infernal, that could be a hit there. Let's try that. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. This should be my favorite style because it's orange, but like I said, it's just so hard to match. So as I thought, in the dark, the color scheme is not quite gonna match our back bling. And obviously it's not gonna match my umbrella either. The skin almost doesn't even look orange at all in the night. That's the first thing I'm noticing. Ah, oh, it doesn't match my pickaxes either. Okay, we need the sun to come back out because this is making my combo look horrible. All right, here we go. Still, the back bling fish, I think we could have went a little darker in color. Maybe the next shade. Pickaxes, eh, that's not too bad, I don't think. Boy, these crows are super annoying. Get out of my game, kid. Pull. Now the wrap, I think that goes quite nicely. Look at that. I think we did good. Well, actually, it looked better on the lever here as opposed to the burst. I don't know. These are some difficult skins to make combos for, for sure. Still, a unique skin in and of itself. Not too bad. Let's try the other two colors. Okay, let's do green next. This one should match a little better. I think we got a nice green inky color here. Let's see. Codename GRN. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. I like that. All right, so pickaxes. The harmonic axes have a green. Let's see. Hold on. No, I don't think those are dark enough. They look too light. Actually, we might be able to make our own pickaxe and make it match. Let's see if we can do that. Let's do the pointy one here. At least we can see our skin, so we can kind of match it, maybe. Let's make the primary color black, green. Um, that's not bad, I don't think, or that one. Okay, what if we swap it? What if we do this and then this? Oh man, which one looks better? I think the first one looked better. How about that? So let's save that. I can't tell if that's perfect or not. Let's see if we have any other green ones. I almost feel like we should use this tuna one again. Oh yeah, let's do it. We use the codename green again. Now for a wrap. 
All right, we got nighttime again. Here's the whale sailor. Well, now at night, our skin is a little darker, as to be expected. It's not too bad, though. Well, now I want to see this in the daylight. Let's grab some weapons so we can showcase the wraps as well. Oh, if the pickaxe didn't have that purple flame. Man, I think it would have been perfect. I wish you could turn that flame off. Okay, so now this color looks a lot better. The back bling looks pretty clean with this. Obviously, we struck out with this first wrap. Oh, wait. Oh, no, this is a reactive one. We really struck out with that. I didn't know it was reactive. Shoot. Well, that's a rip on that one. How about the shotgun here? Uh, that's a little lime. Better than the AR, though. The SMG, this is the bubbly one. If it was all that darker color, it would look perfect. It's got a little bit of light in there. And then the pickaxe would have matched perfectly without that pink flame. Look at that. That is a perfect match. How do you turn that flame off? Maybe from this perspective, you can't really see it. I didn't realize that flame was so vibrant. All right, let's hop on a boat real quick. I just want to see the banner wrap. Wait, did I spin him around? Eh. Here, we can do the unification. That's got green in it. It's kind of cool. Ooh, flames everywhere. Here's the banner wrap. Well, that kind of matches as well, but with the banner wraps, only half the weapon or item you're using shows up. What in the world? He just 360 to me. So I think we can stick with the inky back bling. Which style matches this, though? Maybe the desert sand? Yeah, that's not too bad, I think. That might be a close match. We'll try that. Now for the pickaxe, we do have some bones. But none of them appear to match the exact color scheme that we have. We can try the bait bones. Or the beef bones, hmm. So these look like they're actually white, as opposed to the almost yellowish color of this skin. Bait bones or beef bones, hmm. Now let's try the beef ones. Let's see how that looks. We're gonna stick with the whale glider. Now for a wrap, ooh, I don't know. Life's a beach is almost a sandy color. Well, let's just try that, hopefully it matches. It almost looks like it will match. Oh, let's try it. Here we go. Ah, man, the colors are just all over the place, aren't they? So this particular color on the glider doesn't match as well as I would like. It's close, don't get me wrong. And I think the backling actually matches a bit closer. It's not too bad. I do enjoy, like I said before, that the black ink is everywhere in this glider. So that kind of pulls out some colors. Well, as I feared, the pickaxes are way, way white. Hey, there's a gold birdie. Come back, no! Yeah, look at that. They're just bright white. I imagine the fish ones that we had selected as well would be the same. So that's a bummer. Kind of a big fail there on the pickaxes. I mean, they're still bones. We're a skeleton. It makes sense, even if it doesn't match color-wise. The wrap? That's not too bad. Pretty close resemblance there, I think, at least. Back bling looks pretty clean as well. This is probably my least favorite style, just because it doesn't have the color. But if you don't want to stand out, then this is probably the perfect style for you. All the other skins are just so bright and vibrant, and you'll be sticking out like a sore thumb. Yeah, this wrap is not bad. I think we did good on this. Look at that. Especially in the dark. I really enjoy that. We finally had a clean match. That looks real good. Not too shabby. Just need a better pickaxe. So there you go. That's my review, gameplay, and combo selection for the Cause Skeleton skin. Is it worth 1200 I would say so. Is it very frustrating to make a clean combo? I would also agree, yes, it is. But 
Don't let that deter you from the fact that it's a pretty unique skin. Even if it doesn't look like an elephant, I still maintain that that looks like an elephant. A very unique skin, 1200 not too expensive. I'm truly hoping they come out with some matching accessories eventually. We'll just have to wait and see. If you have a better combo, let me know in the comments and I'll try it out. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.